Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right. <laughs> so as you are aware, I have highlighted a couple of times Kyle's videos uh, about people in the Dinar community. And when it comes to his opinions on these particular gurus, Look, I, I've been doing this a long time, and, and this guy, if he's not listening to Dinar Gurus, well, he did one hell of a job figuring these guys out really quick. I, and I know a lot of you guys don't like this. I don't mind him calling out the gurus for all the BS that they push. And this has been my argument as long as I've been doing this. I can't tell you how many times I've challenged these people to debates. If you guys will remember on the other channel, I even offered $1,000 for them to come on and beat me in a the debate. They just never would do it. And what I was challenging was them telling people that there's 800 numbers, there's numbers on the screen, there's redemption centers, that you have to have a humanitarian project, that they actually have some intel person that's giving them special things that other people don't have, and that there's a date and that there's a rate. And that there's a time it's going to happen. These were the things that I was challenging them on. I just think it's ridiculous that they feel like they have to lie to keep their particular listeners listening to them. When all they had to do was just be honest. Anyways, Kyle had been making videos. And I knew it was a matter of time before he got to me. So I was proactive and hit him up. And what I did is I had offered him an opportunity to do an interview with me. You know what I mean? Look, I don't have a problem with people talking shit about me. I don't. So I thought to myself, Kyle would be the one person I think that him and I can have a respectful conversation about the Iraqi dinar. And anything else that he feels like he wants to talk about, I don't have a problem with it. So I did reach out to him. He did write me back. So what him and I are going to do is uh, work this out, figure out what we need to do to make this happen. So what I thought I would do is just make a video and ask you guys, is there anything that you're interested in knowing about? What do you have questions about? Now, you guys already know my opinion about most of the things that are happening in the Dinar community, but Kyle is a financial guy. So this would be your chance to ask good questions. For those of you who are hearing this for the first time, this is his YouTube channel, Fundamentals of Finance. You can see right here, even after Frank 26, and there's yours truly, and then there's uh, Mark Z. So when I first, and then here's the militia man. So when I first heard the militia man, I couldn't help but laugh. I was like, well... This guy's figured him out real quick. And then he didn't win on Mark Z. And then I thought to myself, oh, good Lord, he's going to go down this list. Uh, you know, I'm just pretending like he has a list. But eventually he's going to get to me. So, um, look, again, like I said, I don't have no problems with people saying things about me. You guys know this. My goal is to get to the bottom of everything, bring you the information the best way possible, as accurate as possible. So if Kyle wants to come on, this will give us a chance to talk back and forth. And this will give me a chance to hear directly from Kyle. And I believe he's going to invite a friend along, which is fine too. This will give me an opportunity to ask them, what is it exactly that I'm saying that's wrong? And see if we can figure this out. But I'm looking forward to their opinion when it comes to Iraqi Dinar. Look, I've, I've spoken to many experts out there. When it comes to Iraqi Dinar, I understand where they're coming from. But I always love a fresh perspective. As long as him and his friend are willing to come on and just be respectful, you know. We don't have to lob insults at one another. I think you guys get more out of this if we could just be respectful and ask great questions. But I also want you guys to be involved. So him and I are going to decide whether it should be live or whether we should do a recording. I have responded to him and I'm looking forward to hearing from him. I think it's going to be very informative. And, and look, if there's something I'm saying that's wrong, I look forward to hearing from him what it is I'm saying that's wrong and, and why it is that I'm wrong. Because for years, these other gurus I've challenged to come on my show and have that very debate, and they never responded. So we'll have an outsider with experience in finance. So if you like what he has to say, this gives you a chance to hear him and then shoot on over to his channel. Okay, I encourage you guys to go there anyways. You can catch a few of his videos outside of what he's saying about the Dinar people. <laughs> but listen about the other subjects, all right? Listen to what he's saying about him. It's not that they're long. He actually does some pretty good ones. Some nice short clips on there. So head on over there. But uh, again, I want you guys to be involved, whether we do it live or whether we do recording. So underneath here, ask the questions that you want to know about. This would be the time to do it. And then we can share the questions with Kyle if he's willing to answer them and explain them. That'd be great. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think. I know some of you were upset that Kyle made videos 
about these other Denar gurus. And I, and like I said, he even made one about me, but I, I, you know, I responded to it. You know, those guys have an option to respond to it and debunk anything that they think he's wrong about. That's the thing about this conversation. We'll be able to go back and forth in real time instead of just making video clips. This is a lot more helpful in my opinion. This would be an opportunity for you guys to chime in on this and uh, ask questions. So let me know what you want me to ask Kyle. Let me know what you're curious about. This would be the time to do it. If he's willing to answer the questions, then he'll answer them while we're doing the video. So as soon as we get all of the details ironed out, I definitely will come back and share them with you guys and let you know when so you're prepared and you guys can tune in. Or when the video gets dropped, you guys will see it and this will be your chance to hear what Kyle has to say. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to share that information with you. Hopefully that happens soon and you can hear what we have to say. That's it for now. Leave your comments down below. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll catch you later. I'm out.